Hello guys and welcome to my gaming channel. It is Splish Splash 40 and I'm doing a setup vid in my house and a tour around a bit to show some stuff. Hope you will enjoy it guys. I wanted to do this for some time and here we are now in my room. This is actually my gaming and recording setup for the most of it. Both YouTube and also music will come to that a bit later. Here we are also looking at a desk which is quite busy. <laughs> a lot of people, you guys there on my notes regarding the shout out for your channel programs. And uh, here I take a lot of notes, uh, who you are, what you do on your channel and what I want to talk about when I talk about you. I usually talk into this mic, which is a very good microphone, I think a blue snowball mic, which is price worth a USB microphone. You might want to check that out if you don't already have one. I use a SciTech keyboard, an Eclipse 2. I think it's really good. I use it when I play as well. And this is my studio monitors for, for the music and uh, they're pretty beast. Quite expensive too, honestly, when I do mixing and recording. Moving on to another keyboard, which is a simple MIDI keyboard. These are pretty cheap nowadays, but it's very useful when I work in uh, my iMac and in Logic 9. Here's a small SAP mobile disk, which is quite full at the moment. I have to clean it up, otherwise it will break into two. Well, this is my mouse that I use. It's a Razer mouse, as you can see and a death adder and I really like it. I had it for uh, almost a year, I think. Sometimes use controllers as well. Here's a PS3 one connected. And also I just bought a new mobile phone. We just want to check that out. It's a Samsung Galaxy S4. Maybe you have one as well or another one that you like. Please let me know what you prefer and why. Back to the screen to my iMac in Windows mode, the participation works good. Just showing what I have here for to record with MSI Afterburner in 720p. I think I've managed to get pretty good settings for to record and not to overload memory as well. So you can take a look here just to see what I use. The compressor as well. So this might be something you want to try out. MSI Afterburner is also a free program. And here's the settings in the codec, which is very good to check out as well. If you tweak it right, it will work well with the MSI Afterburner and give you a good quality while you record. I'm also going to go back a bit uh, and show you how I do when I uh, recording 1080p in the same program. It's not a big difference, but uh, you see here what kind of compression I use and also checking the quality. I think it's good to have around 70 or 75 percent. That will do the work for you, I think. And uh, well, once again, I mean, this is a free program that is quite easy to use and uh, a good one as well. So hope uh, this gave you a tip or two how to record on PC and get good quality. So we're moving on and this is my uh, sound card for when I record music, a duet, an old one. Moving on to the microphone that is used for vocals and such, at least here, SE Electronics. And moving down, we will take a look at my earphones uh, hanging here. Unfortunately, they went into the floor and broke a bit, but they're still working well. Here you can see, oh, what a pity, uh, AKG. And over here in the corner, I have a uh, uh, e-kit, a uh, small one, a Roland, which works well with uh, the plugs in my Logic 9 program. My guitar on the wall uh, started to play that about more than a year ago. I'm a drummer, percussionist, but hey, you got to play some more instruments as well. Here's my HDPVR with uh, this one uh, to connect to a computer screen. And you will see eventually when we go over here, that I have my Xbox and my uh, monitor here uh, when I play on the console. We can just check back here and you will see it there. We're gonna move on a bit here and moving forward and to see the headphones over here that I use when I play Xbox. It's an old Air Force X11 Turtle Beach. I think Turtle Beach makes good uh, earphones or headphones. 
an old wireless controller and uh, an even older wired controller with some control freaks on top. Pretty good actually. You might try that out as well if you want to. I just started to use them some time ago and I think they're pretty good. Okay, we're moving along upstairs to the living room and someone is actually playing here. And uh, here we have, at least for the moment, an old Xbox connected and also a PS3. And we're just also gonna take a short peek into the room of my oldest son because he has quite a beast setup when it comes to his uh, gaming setup and computer that he has been building himself. For all you tech nerds out there, you might want to take a look inside as well. And he's just enabled the possibility to uh, play games on three screens, which looks quite awesome, actually. Okay, guys, we're back uh, downstairs into my studio, my room, and we're going out into the Swedish summer. At least the small amount of it that's left, because we're going into fall soon. And with that, I want to say thank you for watching and coming by. If you have questions about my setup, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day. Bye-bye.